Looks like Tom slipped in the ditch. Oh man, no, I hope he's all right. Anyway, over the radio, he says he was all right. Hope he can pull him out though. Oh man, it's actually really slippery, this road. Hey, this is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde, and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender, Albatross. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries, and just the road as a home. Hey Tom, how's it going in there? Peace, bro. Yo! <laughs> Enjoyed the hot shower. It's so good. We just did a shower at minus five, and Nicolas' hair is frosty. Cold. But we're clean! Yes! In this episode, we are back on the road with the Albatross. But with the delays waiting for the parts, the snow has caught up with us. We need to head south fast. Our destination, Utah. And in this episode, we're going for a famous trail of the Moab area, the White Rim. But things didn't quite start as we imagined. Buckle up, it's going to be shaky! I thought we were going south to escape the cold. I thought so too. <laughs> we're going south, but upwards and into the snow. And there's always more snow. Shadows in the moonlight meant one thing. We had finally made it to Utah. First morning in Moab. It is 16 degrees, it is beautiful, and it is not too cold. For once. For once, and for this morning, pancakes. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to lose the monetization. <laughs> In the bright and warm sun of Utah, there was no more time to lose. We were back on the trails for a day of exploration in Arches National Park. Just a little break before going for our big adventure of the week, the following day. We're in Arches National Park. First arch, Pine Arch. That's Tom that you all know. Always photobombing everything. <laughs> Look how thin this one is. And apparently it fell in 91. And this is what's left from it. At this point, enjoying this very special sunset, we had absolutely no idea what was coming our way the next day. The real objective of um, staying in the Moab area was to go do the White Rim Trail, which is this 160 kilometers uh, off-road trail. But for that you need permits. It's quite heavily regulated. So first thing we did when we arrived in Moab after Arches is go straight to the Canyonlands uh, office for that. Uh, two teas. Two hours, two teas. The plan is to do the White Rim, 160 kilometers complete off-road. It's tough, but it's uh, gonna be fun. 
And so we're <laughs> booking out two camping um, spots one for six. so that we can do it in three days oh, and not right, over so stress it. That's it. And let's hope nothing goes back because we heard it was 2,000 euros road. to get a tow truck inside uh, the park. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so we got our backcountry permit uh, for the camping on the white rim. Yeah, we got everything, all the information. We booked two nights so that we have a bit more time to complete some of the road. It's quite difficult to actually get a booking because people book so much in advance up there. Um, last challenge is that tonight might be snowing. Just tonight. And then it's going to be super dry, super sunny. So we actually need to hurry a bit our preparations here in Moab so that we hit the trail as early as possible and complete some of the rougher section before it gets too muddy. So let's go. And just a few minutes after the rain came, our plan was slowly turning into a failure and it got even worse. Yeah, it's 4 degrees, I'm uh, outside, so big drop and it's probably gonna snow and it's raining and it's gonna be off-road and it's gonna be slippery and it's gonna be hard and it's gonna be great, we're gonna cry a lot. Hell yeah, I popped. That's it, we're officially under the snow and uh, yeah, we'll see how the trail goes. If it gets too harsh, uh, we'll stop and backtrack and try again tomorrow or another day. We'll see. Looks like Tom slipped in the ditch. Oh man, no, I hope he's all right. Anyway, over the radio, he says he was all right. Hope we can pull him out though. Oh man, it's actually really slippery, this road. Tu fais demi tour toi du coup? Tu vas voir Tom? All right, so this is the view we have. And this is uh, Tom and Jerry. He slipped in this hole. So he's gonna sleep here for the night because it's too slippery to continue. He's just trying to get himself in the right spot for the night. Hey, hey. Yeah, like that, like that. Looking at the tires, they're just one big pile of mud. No more thread. So the entire team voted for Continuing tomorrow, uh, this afternoon we're going to yeah, advance on whatever we need to advance, have dinner together, play cards, and then hopefully we can start again tomorrow. Yeah, and we have no network, so it's perfect. We have to get creative with whatever is around the car. Beautiful view, this is the chair, and this was scissors. And what are we doing? Cutting Tom's hair. I got time. <laughs> I got time. <laughs> And in backup, we have these guys in case Shave it off. <laughs> <laughs> I mess up, we have the shavers. All right, let's start. All right. This is Tom's hair now. <laughs> 360 view of Tom's hair. Damn. Damn, look at that. <laughs> but Nick and Tom are like, I mean, Nick is cutting uh, Tom's hair and they're laughing so much. I'm dreading see the result because Nick is a great like hairdresser for my kind of hair which is like you just get straight but for a men's hat I have no idea what he's doing and I can only see in the mirror like them two cracking up laughing let's see oh damn it works so much faster. They were not ready to show the result just yet, but I promise it will come later on in the video. Anyways, 
back to our story the next day. Second attempt uh, this morning. It's been dry since end of afternoon yesterday, so the, the trail looks completely different, which is great. Nick just tried the brakes, it just looks much better. It's much uh, more sticky and we can see the mud getting out of the tires, so good thing. Finally, on day two, we made it to Canyonlands. On that first day, on the white rim, we moved slow. Real slow. On the one hand, because the terrain would not allow us to go faster than 10 or 15 km per hour. But also because we are hypnotized by the beauty of the set and keep stopping to take pictures and videos. Awesome, there's no one around, those views are... I don't know, I've never seen something like that. This is some really good off-road. Um, it's not as hard as we thought it would be, but it is super impressive. I mean, we're going down up canyons and through the rocks and through the mud and through uh, river spots and everything. And look at this, it just goes and the tires are spinning. You might have just seen the mud. <laughs> it's uh, honestly really insane. We recommend it for sure, we're loving it. And we've only done 25 kilometers out of the 160. So, but I think that we've done the hardest bit behind us. At some point, we were so slow, it took us four hours to complete 15 kilometers. That might be because of an extra long lunch break in yet another amazing place along the way. Amazing view. What do you have for lunch? Salad. Salad. What do we have for lunch? Tom's version of Nick's special. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's version of Nick's special. <laughs> what is it? Uh, bread, cheese, ham, egg on top, pepper, salt and enjoy the view. We're taking advantage of the warm sun coming out for a few hours to take a shower, grooming a bit, because yeah, we were cold the past two days. Shower. Ah, oh. oh, sweet. And look at the view I got. With a view. Oh, there we go. There we go. Off. All right. This is haircut day two. Right. So while the guy are finishing up grooming, let me show you something. We didn't discuss our travel plan in the USA yet. Um, and what happened is with the mechanical issue we had in Jackson, we lost quite a bit of time. Um, the plan originally was to go through the Midwest and we had about six weeks to do it but now with the issue we only have until the I think it's 3rd of December let me find that's what I got here so that's in my visa we have till 
the December 3rd, 2022 to exit the territory of the US. So that doesn't leave us with a lot of time. We're already the 10th of November today and we're just in the middle of Moab. So I think we're going to focus on Utah because we've never traveled here. Although we already did six years ago a long tour around the California, Arizona, Nevada um, and a little bit of Utah. So now we're going to focus entirely on Utah. We spent a lot of time in Wyoming. Uh, we've done this little tour on Expedition Jerry and yeah, we just don't have a lot of time, but it's fine. It's a world tour. Um, so we cannot spend a year in every country, otherwise we would be done when we're like 50. And uh, so we're going to do what we can do and then we'll come back for the rest. Now, the moment everyone is waiting for. Boom. This is the new haircut. Wow, looking super fly. <laughs> nice. Who wants a haircut? <laughs> Uh, his hair was long. I thought it was good, Matilda as well, but he said it's too long for me, so we cut it. Gave him a uh, Peaky Blinders haircut. Uh, it actually looked really cool and actually worked out. I have no haircutting skills, but since the trip, I've cut Matilda's hair twice and uh, and the Tom's hair now. And honestly, I, I can I can cut hair. Um, if you're traveling or if you don't care, I can do it. <laughs> It was really, really cool. The views are insane. You're alone. The silence is insane as well. You just turn off, you know, the car, stop speaking, remove any sound that your car can make and just listen. And it's just buzzing in your ear because you're just hearing your own heartbeat. It's, uh, it's really insane. What you guys hear? Nothing. Nothing. There's no sound at all except for Tom's little <laughs> fart. And we're just here sitting over the whole beautiful view. Just listen, there's nothing. Day three. We are now in our element. We belong to that canyon and feel entirely in sync with it. Ready for some more off-road? Let's go. It is minus five outside, but the view is gorgeous, and soon the sun is going to be out over there. So honestly, the off-road was pretty tough, but maybe because we did it in uh, in high clearance vehicles like Land Rovers, Toyotas, um, there is no issue. So uh, so it was not that difficult. Of course, you drive slowly and you make sure everything goes well, but there's never been a point where we said, oh gosh, I don't feel good here. Uh, and to us, it comes pretty fast because it's an overlanded vehicle with three tons. And so we don't want to mess around with it. Uh, you shouldn't be too worried and you don't need top driving skill. You just need to be uh, drive slowly, patient, and just be a little smart, but that's it, honestly. Icebreaker! Yeah! <laughs> Some challenges on the road is that you'll go really down steep uh, hills and it's all like gravel mostly but with some rocks that will sort of drop tires down and left and right but um, we did also go up you're, so you're driving a lot of times on rock but it's rock that has almost been softened out so you're not like climbing on different steps of rocks you're sort of just driving up a rock that's sort of almost smoothened out with little bumps and that's a lot of fun and some, one of them I remember was really steep up. And so we low range first gear going up and it actually slipped. And so we had to put the diff lock for it to actually go. And so, but it's nothing complicated. You just, you can even not drive and just hold the steering wheel and the car will just climb it by itself. Since yesterday, we do about like 
10 stops like this every, I don't know, every couple of hours. I show you. Isn't it amazing? Look at this. But the thing we loved the most were those dramatic cliff edges all along the way. The three of us might suffer <laughs> height attraction, it seems. How are you? you? Do you have any idea on what you're standing? It's, it's a complete like overhanging cliff. It's huge. We must say something. This is Mathilde sitting inside Jerry, cleaned up the whole window, waving, and guess why? Because she's gonna take some awesome shots for all of you viewers. Hope you enjoy them because Mathilde's going through a lot of effort to make sure the videos are top on YouTube. All right, here they come. problem on this trail everything is so beautiful we don't know what to take picture of or what to film anymore look at this one for instance insanely beautiful <laughs> soon enough it was sad, we were reaching the end of the trail, but we didn't want it to end just yet. So much that we followed one of the exit trail up and went straight back down for another day. This is nuts. So we're going to arrive somewhere here, go down this whole way and end up following that way. Just out of the park, so now. You see up to the left, how it, the, the road goes up there. I reckon something out there would be badass. Yeah, that road on the left is uh, what we saw from the overlook up there. Yeah, it looks amazing up there. Yeah, that's the gooseneck that I was talking about. Hello. Cool. And who says out of the park says, draw it out! So we will leave you on that. We leave you on some canyon poesy with those drone shots. Hope you enjoyed the episode and see you next week. Back to the basics, been a lot of things, but I've never been basic. Run around bases, came from the basement, never been shameless. So I got stainless, streets get dangerous, so I might bang it. Don't like hanging, unless you family, please don't claim it. Like what you claiming, what you saying, what you buy and what you need. I'm at the house, ain't at the club. I'm really chilling with my seed. I love my poppy, put me on. I'm really chilling with OGs. Don't test my games to think I'm made. We gon' we gon' Tryna be here for a while in a good time. When we ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, yeah, I look fine. Good people, times, and good wine. Good wine. Tryna be here for a while in a good time When we ain't stressed out, just good wine When I look in the mirror, yeah, I look fine Good people, times, and good wine Good wine, good wine, good wine, good wine. Streets get ugly, yeah, I seen it, please believe me, I be tucked Don't like smoking, last so long, so I keep sipping on this cup Don't crave attention, just to mention, I be chilling in the cut Glass got empty, now I'm searching through my wife What happening? Look at my legs! <laughs> oh my god! Is that true? Amazing, huh? And there's like a heat option. Yep, I pressed it. I've never seen that. Did you? No. There's like... I'll put it to the max. The cinema night was the best idea of the galaxy. Yeah. <laughs>